In this audio series, we talk about some of the most interesting topics first published in Scuba Diver magazine. Read by Ed Robinson. Article and photography by Don Silcock. 10 Big Animal Experiences Scuba Diver senior travel editor Don Silcock lists his top 10 big animal encounters from around the world. Photographs by Don Silcock. There really is something quite unique about an eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball underwater encounter with a big animal. You are but a temporary visitor to their domain, one they may not be the absolute master of, but are far more in control than you can ever hope to be. So the first thing to understand is that the encounter will take place on the animal's terms. You can, and I have, travel halfway around the world at not inconsiderable expense to get the opportunity to be in the water with the specific animal only to discover they just are not interested in any kind of interaction. The second thing about big animals is no matter how big the animal actually is, the ocean is much, much bigger. And because it's a three-dimensional medium, there are multiple directions for them to disappear into that endless blue. But all that said, when the creature does interact with you, it's hard to describe the sheer intensity of the experience. A unique mixture of fear, incredible excitement, and absolute wonder. Here are 10 best such experiences I have had over the last five years or so. Great White Sharks Great Whites have an image problem, and are widely demonized as ruthless man-eaters responsible for the deaths of numerous surfers, swimmers, and divers. And while it is true they are superbly evolved apex predators, they are not the fiendish killer they are made out to be. There are over 400 species of sharks, and they have a specific role in the oceans, removing the dead, the dumb, and the dying, and are a key part of how nature keeps the world's marine ecosystems healthy, vigorous, and balanced. To understand how the great white fits into that process, you need to see them underwater, and the only way you can really do that safely is in a cage. Great white shark cave diving was pioneered in South Australia, and is one of only four locations where you can do it globally. The others are Guadalupe Island in Mexico, Gans Baai in South Africa, and Stewart Island in New Zealand. For more information on South Australia, Google Australian Great White Sharks The Complete Guide for all you need to know on these incredible creatures. Humpback Whales The Tonga tribe is one of six Southern Hemisphere humpback whale populations, and every autumn, they embark on a 6,000-kilometer-long migration from their Antarctic feeding grounds to the Tongan archipelago. They make that epic journey to mate and allow pregnant females to birth and nurse their calves in the warm waters of the archipelago. Tonga is one of a few locations where limited numbers of people can enter the water, and the encounters possible across the archipelago could fill several bucket lists. The incredible bond between mothers and their calves will pluck all parents' heartstrings, while dropping into the path of a large female an entourage of competing male suitors during a heat run is potentially heart-stopping. The restricted number of operators means that availability is limited, so do your research and be prepared to book up to a year in advance. Google the Complete Guide to the Humpback Whales of Tonga for comprehensive insight into the annual aggregation in the Pacific. Tiger Sharks Tiger sharks are just below the Great White on the Apex Predator Index, with a reputation for being dangerous and unpredictable. They are pelagic, open-water animals, and encounters can be quite rare, apart from a tiger beach on the western end of Grand Bahama, which has become the tiger shark capital of the world. Being in the open water with tigers is a life-changing experience, as their intense physical presence and size is, shall we say, somewhat intimidating. While there have been incidents, given the numbers of divers who have experienced Tiger Beach, the encounters are remarkably safe. Largely, it seems, because the rich waters of the Bahamas mean the sharks are very well fed. The season is from October through to May, and Google Is Tiger Beach Safe for more details on this amazing location. Oceanic Manta Rays Oceanic mantas are true giants with a 7-meter wingspan. Yet despite their size and rather sinister sobriquet of Devil Ray, are totally harmless to humans. Plankton feeders with few natural predators, they spend their life in the open ocean and so encounters with them are unusual, but absolutely enchanting, as they are social animals with large brains and are known for their intelligence. The only reason for oceanic mantas to come to you is curiosity, something their intelligence has given them in spades. 
And when you look in their eyes, you can sense that inquisitiveness as they check you out. The best place to see them is Mexico's Ravija Hijido Archipelago, where significant numbers of ocean mantas aggregate together. Known as the Mexican Galapagos, the UNESCO-listed archipelago is 450 kilometers southwest of Cabo San Lucas on the tip of Baja California, and also known as the Socorro Islands. Google the Diving Socorro Indo-Pacific Images for an in-depth insight into the Ravia Hijido Archipelago. Sperm Whales The ocean's largest toothed predator, Sperm whales are elusive creatures probably best known as the rogue albino whale Moby Dick in Herbin Melville's famous book. Another true pelagic, they hunt for the much-feared giant squid in depths in excess of one kilometer for up to an hour a time. The underwater mountains of the North Atlantic Azores archipelago are one of the few locations they gather regularly. Similar to the matriarchal groups formed by female elephants, female sperm whales form pods with their calves while the male bulls live apart. September is the end of the calving season and the optimum month for a holy grail encounter with a pod of females socializing at the surface. Google sperm whales of the Azores to understand more about these incredible creatures and the Azores archipelago. American Crocodiles American crocodiles are cousins of the hyper-dangerous saltwater crocodile, but unlike salties, are not considered aggressive towards humans. They are found from the Florida Everglades throughout Central America and into South America, but by far the best place for encounters is Banco Xincoro in Southeast Mexico. Xincoro is one of the largest coral atolls in the Northern Hemisphere, and the crocodiles are resident at Cayo Centro, the atoll's main island. Being in the water with any big animal is an exciting experience, but American crocodile encounters take that to a higher level, as they are large, powerful creatures that sit watching like a coiled spring, full of intense kinetic energy. It's 35 kilometers from the town of Ishkalak, and the only accommodation at Cayo Centro are the Polifito fishermen's huts in the lagoon. In a word, it's basic. Google Chincoro crocodiles for details of these exciting encounters. Great Hammerhead Sharks Large, solitary animals, great hammerheads are extraordinary-looking creatures that sashay towards you as their large, hammer-like head and wide-set eyes sweep from side to side. Nomadic in nature, they prefer the deeper waters along continental shelves, making encounters almost impossible to predict, and when one occurs, it's typically brief and fleeting except in the shallow waters off the west coast of South Bimini in the Bahamas, where they gather during the winter months. The annual aggregation was discovered by the Bimini Shark Laboratory, who managed to keep it quiet for 10 years. But the word is out, and South Bimini is now Great Hammerhead Central. With a reputation for aggressive hunting, but rarely towards humans, the daytime encounters with Great Hammerheads in Bimini seems almost choreographed, until the night dive. But that's another story. Google Bimini Great Hammerheads for more. Whale Sharks The largest fish in the sea appears to move through the water at a leisurely pace. Until, that is, you are swimming alongside one and desperately trying to keep up. Whale sharks roam the world's tropical seas in search of their food of choice, plankton, and small fish they filter feed through their huge mouths, but will gather in significant numbers when nature creates an opportunity for them to gorge such as the annual coral spawning at Ningaloo in Western Australia. By far, the biggest event is the Afuera, north of Ila Mujeres, near Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, where every August, some 500 of these giant creatures gather for the massive spawning of little tunnyfish eggs. Google the whale sharks of Ila Mujeres, the Afuera, to read more. Ragged Tooth Sharks Big enough to get your undivided attention, is how an encounter with South African ragged tooth sharks was once described to me. Large creatures with an impressive set of teeth, their size and appearance instill an irrational fear in the uninitiated as they patrol the caves they hang out in during the day. One of the best known aggregations of ragged tooth sharks is at Protea Banks, about 130 kilometers south of Durban on South Africa's east coast. Every year come winter, hundreds of raggies gather at Protea to mate providing a wonderful opportunity to get up close and personal with them. Google the ragged tooth sharks of the Protea Banks to read more about this annual aggregation. Giant Australian Cuttlefish It has been called the premier marine attraction on the planet, 
where every May, giant Australian cuttlefish arrive along a stretch of coastline near Wyala in South Australia's Spencer Gulf. And by the mid-June, some 100,000 of these wonderful creatures will have gathered to mate. Polyandry is the technical term for that mating and means that females will have multiple male partners to ensure greater genetic variability. But with a ratio of 8 to 10 males per female, a better description would be spectacularly promiscuous. It's a fascinating experience to observe the tricks used by the males to get the female's attention, from the flamboyant displays to the sneakers, masquerading as females to slip into the harem. Google the complete guide to Australian giant cuttlefish to understand more about the cuttlefish and their unique annual aggregation. Don Silcock, Scuba Diver's Senior Travel Editor. In more normal times, Don is based on Bali in Indonesia, but is currently hunkered down in Sydney rediscovering Australian diving. His website, www.indopacificimages.com, has extensive location guides, articles, and images on some of the best diving locations in the Indo-Pacific region, and big animal experiences globally. You've been listening to the Scuba Diver Magazine audio series. For more great stories like this one, visit scubadivermag.com forward slash audio series.